have a monkey in your pants? Right guys, this is a very, very quick video for you. It's basically, the idea of this is to give some of the fellow guys, particularly in the YouTube retro gaming community, the guys that have a bit of interaction with, who maybe don't have the fastest broadband speeds, um, who are still on BOGO standard ADSL, like myself, we don't have the luxury of cable or fiber or whatever. So basically we've got quite slow upload speeds for YouTube. Now, there's several ways to increase your upload speed, I should say, for YouTube. And one of the easiest ways is to reduce the file size. And obviously you wanna reduce the file size without impacting on quality massively. So regardless whether you're using Adobe, Premiere, um, Sony Vegas, Windows Movie Maker. I'm not going to go into any settings on that because everybody uses different video editing software if you like. But there's one final piece of software that you can use that massively, massively reduces file sizes and doesn't have a noticeable effect on video quality from what I can see, especially once it's then uploaded to YouTube. And that program is, <coughs> excuse me, something called Handbrake. Now, Handbrake is something that I came across years ago. It's basically a program to change video formats. It compresses files and whatnot. Um, it probably can be used for a hell of a lot more than what I use it for, but I find it very, very useful for two different reasons I'll go into. So basically we're on Google here, Google, Google, and we'll go to Handbrake. I'll we'll go to that open source video transcoder. There you go. Click on that, download it, install that bad boy. Simple as chips. Now, this is the program here. There you go. Now, what I'll do first of all, these are two videos here. Um, video one is the original file that was edited with the video software, and video one compressed is the one that I've run through the Handbrake software. So, just to give you an idea, video one, before I ran it through Handbrake, 4 minutes 31 seconds long, and you're looking at 172 megabytes, okay? It's not a great big video. Now, once it's been run through Handbrake, go to properties again, 4 minutes 31 again, but it's 72.6 megabytes. Massive difference. Now, if you think the potential over a larger video could really, 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 really reduce your video file size, and obviously the smaller the file size, the less time it'll take to upload your videos. I know a lot of guys in here in the UK who, like I say, don't have fiber or cable, you just let the videos runs overnight. So any time that reduce anything that you could do to reduce the upload time for YouTube is better. So like I say, there's loads of different things that'll reduce it. Different video formats, audio codecs, etc. YouTube's like certain things, but this is one of the easiest ways I could basically advise to do use this program called Handbrake. So this is a latest game capture video. So if we go to properties, it's 1.8 gigabytes in size and 60 minutes 29 seconds long all you basically do guys is drag the video down here at the bottom like so it will have some cropping information here just click custom make sure this is zero so it doesn't crop your video now you click web optimized here now it can be used for loads of different things changing the frame rates of videos like I say, a lot more in depth than what I use it for, but I find that it can massively reduce the file size of your videos without affecting the quality. All you do is select the output for it. We'll put it here and we'll just call it on the desktop game capture compressed and just press save and press start. And we'll just basically let that run. There you go, guys. So that's that video done. Like I say, we'll have another look. The first one uncompressed though the one that hasn't been run through the handbrake program was 1.08 gigabytes and the second one that's been run through it 349 megabytes massive 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 difference now it varies greatly depending on the content in the video and what's going on exactly but to give you an idea that was sonic 2 gameplay and that's what it's able to do and hopefully i can give you an idea here i don't know how well this will come across this is the uncompressed video. Sonic 2. Alright, there you go. And this is the compressed video. And to be honest with you, you can see absolutely no difference at all. And that's what I do, guys. Look, if, if you just put this through a video editing program or whatever, and it came out 1.8 gigabytes, 
and you were to try and upload that, it could take a hell of a long time if you've got a slow connection. Run it through this handbrake program here and it will reduce it to an amazing 349 gigabytes. There we go. So, anybody who's struggling or thinks the YouTube videos are taking a long time to upload, try running your finally edited videos through the handbrake program. Um, massively reduce the file size. You won't notice any difference, to be honest with you, by the time it hits YouTube and they can press it and whatnot anyway, but it will save you a hell of a lot of time, especially if you've got a slow internet connection. But that's all guys, just a quick video here, just to help out a few guys who may be struggling with their slow internet connections. Any questions, queries regarding this piece of software, give me a shout, it can be used for a lot more. Another good thing it can be used for if you've got a variable frame rate source like a video camera or an iPhone and you're having problems editing it, you can run it through the handbrake software, changing a couple of different settings and have it as a fixed frame rate. So it's a great piece of software. Um, I highly, highly recommend it. That's all from me guys, but as always, thank you much for watching and until next time. Do you have a monkey in your pants?